we've also been spending a lot of time in the studio lately with Victoria trying to capture some of her singing while she's, um, you know, still young. And um, you'll hear more about some of her recordings later. She's got some really neat projects in the works. I love her. I love her heart, though. She's got, you can tell that she has a great heart by the way that she sings. You know how that, that connect? Yes. But I can't wait for everybody to meet her and just get to enjoy that blessed little, she's anointed in her music, just like you are. Thank you. I, I do feel like God's given her a gift and it's really neat to see it unfold. Yeah. Singing that song, and anytime she started singing, and I've just you know, I've developed good pitch, you know, she would sing it in that same key and B, and I'm like, How does she do that? It's a Holy Ghost building, it's a Holy Ghost building. We never really pushed her because we knew it had to be her love. Holy Ghost building for my love, for my love. I think at this point in her life, she's really, really enjoying music and wants to see what God has for her in music. If I was a gambler, tell you what I do, I would quit my gambling and I'd work on. suffers from Alzheimer's and he doesn't remember who anybody is he doesn't recollect what has gone on in the past or really understand a lot about what's going on right now so when we got to see little Victoria sing to him it was a miracle as his heart just opened up in a way I, I feel like she's been even a little more hesitant being in a family of music to really go for the music as somebody who's outside of music. But we're happy that she's using it. 
Where the dearest and best poor world of lost sinners was named. She unfortunately had to watch my daddy, her, her grandfather, uh, decline with Alzheimer's. and. But she's also been able to give something so special to him during this really difficult time, and that's the gift of music. And I'm, I'm so thankful that she's able to do that for him. And she Such loves singing blessing. at uh, her grandmother, uh, my husband's mother, uh, lives in an, she's 94, she's precious, and lives in an assisted living here. And Victoria started singing out there a lot and at some other of the retirement centers here in Nashville, and she, that's her favorite place well, to Well now, stay. hold on, she's doing some kind of a project for the Girls' Passage. Well, people can come out to Puckett's in Franklin, Tennessee on July 31st and watch me as I perform some of the songs that are on my, my CD for the elderly people. And any donations that um, I receive will go towards printing the CDs. And the more donations we get, the more CDs we can hand out to people. So, you know, my daddy at this point, he doesn't know anyone's name. I can hold up a pencil and a piece of paper, and he doesn't know what it is. But yet, I Victoria it. sings a song, an old hymn, especially the old hymns. He sings along every word every word. That's the way to get him. It was wonderful. He came to life before our very eyes just because of that little ministry that Victoria had through music. It was inspiring and a miracle before our eyes.